Log Menu The X-Series Advanced continuously stores information during a case in a full disclosure case log. The device can maintain up to 150 separate full disclosure cases that contain treatment events, trends, ECG and continuous waveforms, monitoring and event snapshots, and 12 lead snapshots and analysis. It can concurrently store up to the following events, 32 snapshots, 500 non-ECG events, 24 hours of continuous ECG, capnography, invasive blood pressure, and PADS impedance waveforms. When the X-Series Advanced Memory reaches capacity, it will delete the oldest case file to make room for a new one. Data in the X-Series Advanced is accessed by pressing the Log key located in the second level of the QA key menu. The first key is Treatment Summary and is where a code summary can be accessed. The summary displays all of the treatment events related to a case, such as defibrillation, pacer events, alarm events, and treatment snapshots. A list of cases in chronological order will appear. The corresponding dates and times are also listed. Highlight the desired case and press the Select button. A green check mark will appear next to the selected case. When the case is selected, the Case Push icon temporarily changed to a print icon to provide a shortcut to print the selected summary. Printing can be halted at any time during the treatment summary printout. The Print Trends menu prints only the trended vital signs from the selected case. A list of cases appear in chronological order with the current case. The corresponding dates and times are also listed. Highlight the desired case and press the Select button. A green check mark will appear next to the selected case. The Case Push key will temporarily change to the printer icon to provide a shortcut. This is a shortcut to immediately print the selected trend. Printing can be stopped at any time during the trend printout. The Case Push key is used to send cases to Zoll Online, where they can be immediately accessed through RescueNet Case Review for QA, QI purposes, or imported into many ePCR platforms. To push a case, follow the blue highlighted options and select Close Case. When selected, the current case is completed and is stored in the memory of the device. Alternatively, you can select Continue. The current case will not be closed, but allows other cases on the device to be selected. When the Select Cases key is pressed, up to 15 cases can be transferred to Zoll Online at the same time. Notice that the screen displays a color code to the left of each case listed. A blue circle with an upward arrow indicates that the case has already been successfully transmitted to Zoll Online. A yellow circle with an exclamation point indicates that there was an unsuccessful attempt to transfer the case. No symbol means that no attempt was made to transfer the case to the cloud. After selecting the desired cases, select the Home key to exit the Select Case menu. Pressing the Home key highlights the Transfer key. Press the transfer key to start the process of transferring the case or cases to Zoll Online. A progress bar will be displayed during the transfer. When the transfer is completed, the message Disclosure Log Transfer Complete will be displayed.